G'day. Today we're going to look at picture in a picture using the A10 Mini. That can be the original version, the Pro, the ISO, or either any further incarnations of it. It should work as well. Now, first of all, we'll look at why you would want to use picture in a picture at all. Then we'll look into the types of picture in a picture that you can create and how to create those using the A10 software. But first, if you like the videos that I'm doing, please hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Um, the next one will probably be on macros because we won't have enough time to go into all the details in this one. Okay, let's get into it. Why would you want to do picture in a picture? Well, um, well, first off, what I'll do is I'll show you what I'm using today. This is the ATEM Mini Pro, and on this side I've got a uh, Ninja 5, which I'm using as my monitor. Go back to myself, and then I will start a PowerPoint, because PowerPoint is often the, the, reason, the first reason people might want to use picture in a picture. Now here we've got the PowerPoint slide. As you can see, I'm in picture in a picture. I'll take myself out of the picture, and you've got standard PowerPoint. For many years we've had death by PowerPoint, where you've had a narration over PowerPoint, the narration is a bit dull, you're looking at slides that may stay on there for 30 seconds, a minute, longer, with text you can't read. Um, you'll drift off. By adding a human figure into the picture, it makes it a little bit more interesting. Now, I might have a face for radio, however, having a human in the frame is better than not having one. Now, if you want to put picture in a picture in PowerPoint, all you really need is a Windows computer and the software PowerPoint. You don't need an ATEM to do any of that. Now, PowerPoint is only one reason you'd want to use picture in a picture. There are many other reasons, particularly when you've got action that you're more in a training scenario, an education scenario, that you're wanting to look at something, both the, the wide shot, but also the detail of, of what's happening at that same time. So picture in a picture can be very useful in that. What we've got here is an experiment shot with two cameras without an A10 Mini. What, what you're looking at is a wide shot and a very close shot of what is happening. It's actually spearing into the soil to see what type of soil there is to decide what sort of construction is required in that soil. But we're showing the wide shot using a split screen and the close-up shot. So you're seeing the, the action in two places at once. I'm going to take myself out of these for the moment. We've got a fairly standard picture-in-picture -picture that you can create with the A10 Mini. However, you'll notice that the picture-in-picture -picture is slightly larger than what you'll get with just using the standard buttons up here. By pressing those, you'll just get a... Um, I'll turn the picture-in-picture -picture on and you'll see it's a very small picture. And I'll go back to the still. And here we've got, you can see it's quite a large picture in picture, and that's using macros, and I'll describe those a little bit later. So the, the next one we're looking at is a fairly typical one where it's a fairly static sort of picture in a picture where you've got someone who's describing what they're doing and a close-up shot of that. Fairly straightforward. This one, you've got a small picture in a picture with the presenter able to talk to, to the screen, and the picture in picture can be set so it always stays over top of the video underneath it. So in the next image you'll see the same picture in picture but I've switched to a different camera um, so that's pretty useful. This one is I'm using picture in picture as a split screen. Now on the left hand side is the picture in picture and on the right hand side I've got a GoPro in a fume cabinet showing an experiment that you couldn't possibly see any other way by, other than using a camera within that space. The next one, again, a split screen. This is particularly useful to show the wide shot and also that detail shot. Now what I've been doing is actually leaving me out of the picture. So if you're bored already, that may give you an indication that seeing a, a live picture over the, the actual slide is better than not. Again, we've got split screen presenter explaining what they're seeing in the, the mini dark room of a fingerprint in forensic science. This particular one shows the importance of both things happening simultaneously. 
So on the left, you have the action, and on the right, you have the results that are, are coming from that reaction. And it's important to see both of these at the same time. So a perfect example of a split screen. What I'm going to do now is switch to the ATEM, an image of the ATEM. So you, over here you can see the main camera and the picture in a picture. This is the preview and that's what's going out on the program. I'm going to switch the preview. Here is the still. I'm going to hit the preview which is the main camera and at the same time if you watch my hands on one button there for the off for the picture in picture as I cut. And there we go. We've got the main camera, no picture in picture, which is what we want. So what we want to do now is have a look at how we do that in the software in terms of resizing the picture in a picture. So I've switched to the computer and the ATEM software, which you can see in front of you. I'm in picture in a picture down in the right hand side. And what we're going to do is look at how we can adjust the size and the placement of picture in a picture. What we need to do is go into palettes. You've got three options here. You've got the media player, the output. You can see I'm recording to an SSD. And under palettes, we're looking for the upstream key. DVE is what we're looking for. And the fill source is the first one. So if you're looking at the picture in a picture at the moment, I'm going to swap that to the GoPro, which is currently filming the A10 Mini. I'll select that and you'll see that the picture in a picture has changed to the A10 Mini. I'll go back to um, the main camera and there you've got myself. The next thing we want to do is, is look at the position. Move it up into the middle so you're able to see that but now I'm going to move it to the side and so you're able to see that moving. I'll move it right over over there over those buttons um, and we can move it up and down but the main important thing here that you don't have control over by just clicking the buttons on the actual ATEM mini panel is the size now it's currently and normally set for 0.2 which is 20% of the maximum size I'm going to make that 0.5 and you'll notice that this has changed to 0.5 as well they're chain linked so and I've, I'm now in a larger picture in a picture. Currently the mask is on. If I unclick the mask, you'll see that. And I'll move it across a little. And you can see the aspect ratio is 16.9. Um, for picture in picture, that's probably not particularly useful. So what I'm going to do is use the mask, turn the mask back on, and probably give myself a bit less mask on the left, on my left and maybe a bit more on the right. So you can see that change. Um, I'll put that, let's put that up high. So that's how we're able to adjust the size and the position and the camera of the picture in a picture. Um, to make it split screen, what I'll do is, is have a look over here with the size again. I'm gonna make that one. And you can see, I'll take that down. So what you've got is, is um, full screen, well, full screen, but split screen, so half the screen. And now you're able to see the software quite easily. I'm gonna press I'll, one of these four keys. And unfortunately what that does is wipe out what we've just done. So if we have a look at this, and I'm gonna put myself in the lower right, and I'd then lose that sizing. Um, it st still does keep the mask. Unclick the mask and you see I'm at 16.9 again. It will also keep the border, but it won't keep the sizing and it will keep the mask. So there you go. The mask is there and I'll drop it over there. To try and get around the issue of the resizing whenever you use these four buttons here, we can create a macro, which is what I'm about to do now. I've already created a couple of macros just here. And I'm going to run one. So I'm currently in the lower left. I'll put myself in, in the lower right. And you can see the size has got larger and the, the masking is, is changed as well. But as soon as I click that button, it, it loses it. 
So let's make a macro to modify that. So I'm going to do this very quickly and there'll be another video on tips and tricks with macros because you can get a little bit tricked up with them. So I'll create So let's go ahead and create that macro. Every keystroke on your computer, anything that you change here will be recorded, and any, any button that you touch here will also be recorded. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the picture in picture off as a starting point. Now I'll go back to the macro. So what we wanna do is have it on the left-hand side. So I'm going to click on left-hand side there, but I haven't turned it on yet. I'll turn it on so you can see picture in a picture and I'll go back to the computer. From that position, I'm going to take it up so we're about in the middle and I'm going to change that to one, move it over to just over there. Okay, so that, that's quite a good split screen and we've created our macro. I'll, I'll press stop. So I'll take you back down to the switcher. What I'm going to do is press one of the location keys for the picture in picture. We've lost our, our split screen and, and all the sizing. So let's go look at the computer again and we'll click our macro split screen. And nothing happened because I didn't click run. So what you want to do is take it up to run, have run and recall set and split screen. And there we go. Hope you've enjoyed this video on Picture in a Picture. Please subscribe, please hit the like, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.